we all know that picking the right starting job is important. But which job should you target if you want one of the highest starting salaries? This video is all about that. In this video, we're going to be discussing about the jobs with the top five highest starting salaries. I'm going to be giving you a briefing about those jobs. What do those jobs essentially entail? What kind of duties and responsibilities do you have? And of course, I'm going to be giving you actual numbers. What are the median starting salaries if you were to actually work in this field? In one of these fields, of course, in the top five jobs. But before before we begin, I'd like to thank the sponsors for today's videos, the ETS TOEFL test. If you're looking to study overseas, I highly recommend that you take the ETS TOEFL test. And here's why. Number one, many universities such as Stanford, in fact, right over here, as you can see in the screenshot, only accept the TOEFL as the English language proficiency test. And not just the US, but the TOEFL is strongly accepted in countries like Canada, Australia, New Zealand, UK, and more. Secondly, I personally feel that the TOEFL is one of the easiest English language proficiency tests. No matter where you are or who you are, you can take the test. And I actually personally ended up scoring a 119 out of 120. That was my score. And the exact strategies that I used to get that score are on this channel in the playlist for TOEFL. Finally, you can take the ETS TOEFL test no matter where you are, from the comfort of your home or at one of the ETS test centers. And just having that flexibility for me is massive. If you're interested in the TOEFL test, make sure to check out the details. Link is going to be in my description as always. And of course, if you are interested in the test, for this video viewers only, there's a coupon code YASH20, YASH20. Apply that to get a $20 discount on the TOEFL test booking that you're gonna be making. Now guys, without further ado, let's talk about those top five jobs with the top five starting salaries as well. The first one is data scientist. One of the most common, really important fields of today, and I know a lot of you are interested in the field of data science. A lot of people are studying CS with a specialization in machine learning or data science. A lot of people are studying directly masters in data science. A lot of people, uh, people are studying business analytics and they're also going into data science. MIS also partially, you know, so there's a lot of people who are moving towards this field of data science. And what is the buzz about essentially? Well, data science is just three things. You evaluate data, you extract meaning out of that data. And what you do is essentially you use that meaning to improve the business. For instance, let me give you an example. Let's say that you have a website and the website has a particular bounce rate, you know, bounce rate is essentially when people are leaving your website and you're, you're seeing essentially, you know, how to actually stop that from happening, right? So you want to keep your bounce rate as low as possible. Well, using data science and using some statistics, some data that you may have collected about these people on your website and their journey on, on your website, you can actually understand why people are leaving, right? You can actually make sense out of that data and you can improve the website. You can improve the business essentially by using all of that data and you can make sure that your bounce rate goes lower. That means more and more people stay on your website longer, which is essentially what you'd want as a website owner, essentially. This applies to almost every business out there just saying. So yeah, that's data scientist for you. And the average starting salary, the median itself is 95,000 US dollars. Of course, these salaries are from the United States itself. So most of you who are going ahead to study in the US or if you're going to any other country also, of course, you know, the salaries will of course have a comparable range, but yeah, at the same point in time, US does have some of the best starting salaries for data scientists. Number two is software engineer. I know a lot of you guys are also interested in this field. What does a general software engineer do? Well, they could build websites. They could code applications, whether they are desktop or phone applications, you know, Android, iOS, whatever, you name it. They basically decide how people interact with technology. They decide how people today and in the future as well will interact with technology. So there's a lot of innovations they can do, right? That's software engineers for you. And the median annual base salary comes down to $90,000 right here. It's a pretty great starting salary if you ask me. Number three, and I really like this one, guys. This is product manager. Now, a lot of you may know what it is. A lot of you may not. Let me give you a brief about what a product manager does, okay? A product manager essentially identifies potential products that can disrupt a market, all right? That's what you have to do as a product manager. After you've identified a product or a service, whatever it is in your case, right? You manage production. You manage 
how how that service works or how that you know product is produced okay that's what you have to build the workflow essentially you go ahead you hire a team to make sure that the production can actually happen in reality finally you create realistic milestones that okay by this time we have to do this by this time we have to do this and then we have to launch the product you know and then you you kind of keep on improving the product until it's really really profitable right so that's what a product manager does and i personally feel that they have their hand in almost any field there is you know marketing a little bit of sales a little bit of client support a little bit of actually thinking the thinking process right the brain behind the product itself so personally i really like to do these things you know i really like these fields because there's a lot of diversity and i'm sure that a lot of you guys would do because it's not a boring job it's not a daily basis you know you'll be doing the same thing you know, for the most part you have a lot of diversity and I, that's really why i love this role well the product manager's median base salary in the us right now is 89000 us dollars it's very close to the actual salary of like i said a starting salary of software engineers as well but I personally like this one better. Number four, the number four position, one of the top five jobs for starting salaries is investment banking analyst. Now, what does an investment banking analyst do? Well, as an investment banking analyst, your duty is to ensure that your clients, your users essentially maximize their investments. That's really your role over there. You also have to make sure that they reach their financial goals and only the good investment banking analysts are able to do that, of course. You also do a lot of other things like, you know, technically you, you, go, you go down to the bare bones of the machines, right? The, the machines over here are the companies. You read their financial reports, you see investment avenues and you advise those to your clients as well. So that's essentially what you would be doing as an investment banking analyst. And the median annual base salary is 85,000 US dollars. Finally, last but not the least, of course, in this case, number five, very common and very popular position nowadays, did not used to exist a couple of years ago itself, is the UX designer, the user experience designer. Now, what does the user experience designer do? Well, it's really their duty to design the websites and the applications, really the design, right? The design, the front end that you see on those things, you know? You see some applications, they're really well built, really pretty, and you know, you really like the design of those applications, they're really easy to use, right? Well, that's what a UX designer does. They design those things. They, they see which elements should go, should go where, right? That's one of their duties. Of course, they also ensure theme compliance. That means that, you know, all the pages should look a part of the same app. If you are not using the same sort of buttons, you know, you're putting different buttons on every page. That means that the app is not exactly looking the exact same that that's supposed to, right? That's also their responsibility. So they make sure that everything is complementing each other and the theme is, of course, you know, there's a particular theme going on in the backdrop of the application. Finally, of course, as a UX designer, you want to make your application as easy to use as possible for users, you know. They should be able to start an application for the first time and understand where they have to go to actually execute an operation. And that's exactly what you want, right? Ease of, ease of process, simplicity as a UX designer. Well, if you choose to go forward with this field, your median annual base salary will be 73,000 US dollars. Of course, this is a median, but at the same point in time, really good starting salary still, right? So guys, these were the top five jobs with the highest starting salaries in, in the US for the most part, but yeah, it's, it's resonating almost all over the world at this point if you're in the market similar to the US, right? In one of the most, I would say, developing, growing, fast, quick countries, right? And if you are actually moving forward with your education overseas, you, you probably want to look at some of these fields because they are really boosting at the moment and I don't think they're going away for the next 20 years for the most part. All right, I hope that this video helps. I will see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and of course, follow us on Instagram for more such short form content as well. Goodbye and take care until next time.